Hi YouTubers, as promised, I was going to show you how I'm going to pack for my vacation and what exactly I am packing. So let's check it out. So I'm starting out with my bag of undergarments. It's great to put these in a bag because then you can double it as a laundry bag at the end of your trip. Of course you have the bathing suits. I have four here. They're all different colors, which I think is great because you actually can mix and match some of these to fit your day and your personality for that day if you decide to wear something bright. Or if you're poor and melancholy and want to wear something dark, you can switch it out. Then you have your cover-ups. I have to the far right is a just a Nike skirt just to throw on to head down to the pool. Then I have a sari to wrap around. I have the purple kimono. It's actually for my best friend in Vietnam. She brought that back to me. And then I have a just a long, oversly sized dressed tank top. So if you get sunburn, it's just nice to have that because it's cotton and it just lays on your skin and you don't have to worry about anything rubbing. So, but we're hoping not to get sunburn. Then of course you have your array of tank tops. These are for the most part the same length, um, but then this one's a little longer just in case I do want to wear that as a cover up if I need to, I can. And I'm also wearing a tank top with me to the airport, so you can never have enough tank tops on trips, I believe. Your array of shorts. The bottom ones can get wet. The two middle ones are obviously for more um, nice or if we you know, go to dinner or something, I could wear those. Um, the top two are more cotton, one's like an army style. The other one is, is more cotton. Um, the, see that one's more like that, but they are cotton, they're super comfortable. And these ones are just cotton. And those are great if you get sunburn, you could just throw those on and um, there's nothing really rubbing on you or like touching your, your sun lamp, tan lines, which usually are exactly at that spot where your shorts are and it kills if you are red at all. Just two shirts with detail. The right one is just a um, shorter cap sleeve and it kind of just hangs and then the left one is one that actually um, has a longer sleeve so in case it gets a little chilly at night I can pair that with any of my pants that I'm going to be wearing. Um, I, I decided to go with more comfortable pants, not necessarily jeans. I will bring a pair of jeans. I will wear them to the airport, but I'm definitely not going to um, bring anything that might be a little too tight, which is something that's flowy and comfortable for um, the rest of the trip. Hats. I have a, the felt hat that I bought, and then I have this other hat that's just more chill for the pool if, you know, if we do end up doing something that's more an activity outside of the resort, we can definitely... Uh, you know, don't want to get too much sun, so throw in that one. But the other one, um, the felt hat, it's more for the pool, or if we go being a tourist around the area, we could definitely uh, still keep the sun out of our face wearing something like a nice felt brimmed hat. I brought two dresses. I didn't really know exactly what to expect. One of them is a strapless, and the other one does have straps. But it's um, lighter weight, and they're both lightweight, which is really nice, and so if I happen to get too much sun, I'll be able to just throw these on and just go about my day. Um, I'm really looking forward to wearing these because they are so comfortable and flowy. Um, and then I do have just another tank top that's a little more nice. And if we do out drop for dinner, I'll just be able to throw it on with one of the um, comfortable flowy pants and um, I'll be set for a dinner date. Your token, just comfortable sweater. You just have to wear a sweater. You have to bring a sweater, something that's comfortable. I throw this on after a shower, and um, I'm not really too concerned about how I wear uh, anything on this trip. I just want to enjoy myself and have a good time. So um, I have a lot of bright colors, as you can see. There's just an array of brightness, which is great, and I love that. And so um, I'm really just looking forward to enjoying my trip and having a good time and getting some sun. Here's my shoes. I'm not really bringing too many pairs of shoes. I'm bringing a pair of Nikes for any activities we decide to do, horseback riding or tourism. And then I have my other two pairs of sandals, which I'll just wear uh, around the resort. And go over to what I'm wearing on.
on the flight. So I'm just going to wear a pair of jeans, which will add to my wardrobe, and then another tank top, which is super important. And then more of a, a nicer sweater that I could wear and mix and match with any of these outfits. And then a pair of just comfortable shoes, which I can also wear down to the pool if I need to. And here is the finale of packing. Everything's up there in Ziploc bags, just in case it leaks. And then I have here everything else. Um, pretty self-explanatory. I roll everything when I pack. I just think it's saved so much space. And either you could do that or you can lay everything flat in your bag. And then there's just so many layers you can put in your bag. But this trip, I don't have to bring that much. So this is what I decided to do and how to pack it. And as you can see, got my hats just folded up in there and everything's rolled up. So that is it. We will be well on our way very soon and pretty, pretty quick and simple to pack for vacations like this because you're not dealing with weather and uh, cold climates or rain or snow. Um, so it, it's pretty simple and very comfortable and light things. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that helped give you a little bit of hints of how to pack and, you know, a few pairs of pants, a few pairs of shorts, some um, long, a pair of long sleeves and other type of um, short sleeves, dresses, and just a few sandals. And then there's more room in my bag for if I get clothes. So that is it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.